And in today's episode, I am going to be talking about the power of the subconscious mind, how the subconscious mind works, and how you can implement strategies, tactics, in order to change your subconscious mind, therefore improving your life dramatically. another episode I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives so the subconscious mind we have two minds to start with we have the conscious mind and the subconscious mind the conscious mind is the everyday mind the mind we're constantly thinking with if you say I want to eat something your subconscious is telling you that you're hungry unless you're just doing it not out of hunger your subconscious is telling you that you are hungry the conscious mind will say right I want to move my legs in order to go but the subconscious mind will actually move the legs because you're used to doing it. So the subconscious mind is very powerful and it's the habitual mind. When you can truly change and you can essentially adapt the subconscious mind to live in a way that you want to live, that's when your life will change because it is habitual. So if you are constantly living in the subconscious and your subconscious says, I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am smart, I am whatever it is that you want to be, if your subconscious is saying that, that's what you are. Now, if you are maybe attracting not so good things in your life, maybe bad relationships, maybe toxic people, maybe bad jobs, whatever it is, that usually comes from... Let me rephrase that. That always comes from the subconscious mind. So you can say on a conscious level as much as you want, I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy. But if you don't believe on the subconscious, it won't come to you. So... Understanding the subconscious is something that is not so easy, but once you've got it, you've got it, and it's very, very easy to, to control and put what you want into your mind. So there's loads of different things that you can do in order to, what you can cut out, but also what you can add in. So for example, cutting out, the first thing I would cut out, if I was you, recommend, this is the first thing that I cut out, was everything that was negative. The news, for starters. People who you follow on social media who are ne who maybe aren't negative, but maybe you may see them in a light of, I wish I had what they had, and it makes you feel bad. Cut all that stuff out. Because you want to program your mind every single day for confidence. You want to program your mind for motivation, empowerment, self-love. All of these good things. All, all, the, all the empowering type of feelings, emotions that you want to be feeling, that's what you need to empower your, or control and put into your mind every single day. Because like I said, the more you can do it, it's like a habit. How long did it take you to learn the alphabet? Now, it didn't just happen overnight. It probably took, I don't know the exact length of time it took me to learn the alphabet when I was in school, but I'm sure it was probably near to a year just to learn it, let alone actually be able to construct a sentence or to be able to write a sentence, I suppose. So I, we would all learn through repetition. So it literally is A, B, C, D, E. What's after E? What is after E? F, G, A. And you just go and go. And over time, it just becomes part of you. And it's very funny because I'm doing, I'm studying NLP right now. And it's again, it's all to do with the subconscious mind. It's all to do with the mind, how you can adapt it, how you can change it, and how you can completely transform your life. So if that's something you're interested in, and completely transforming your life, no matter where you are right now, that's something that I'm going to help you do. And if you are interested in that, please follow, find me on social media at M-A-X-I-M 1111 O-N. And then my website is exactly the same, just www.maxim1111 O-N dot co dot uk and send me a message send me an email whatever it is i'd love to help you completely change and empower your mind so within reprogramming your mind what it comes down to is there's many different ways of doing it so one of them is repetition and that's probably the easiest way because it's something that you don't have to go full in with it you don't have to do the most amazing every single day learn how to edit the most amazing videos or you don't have to post the most amount of content every single day. Start small. Because if you can start small, you can, you can get to where you want to be. It may take a bit longer, but you will get there eventually. And it's just like the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise won the race because he was aware that he just continued to go. Just continued to go. And the person who is most consistent 
will always win long term. So if you can be consistent, you will dramatically change your life. So find something that you can start with. And so many people, the greatest metaphor I can use is don't train like a pro if you're starting as an amateur. Don't go to the gym and train two hours a day, twice a day, seven days a week, only eat salads and drink protein shakes. It is not sustainable. It just isn't sustainable at all. Now for someone like myself, when I first started going to the gym, I started going for three days a week and that was too much. That was on the verge of too much, I would say. Whereas now I go seven days a week, sometimes five, sometimes seven, depending on how I'm feeling. And I keep that up, but every single day I turn up to the gym. There's not a day that I don't turn up to the gym because if I don't work out, I will go into the spa, I will have a cold shower, maybe have a swim, but I will always make sure that I turn up and I'm in a routine of turning up. And I've done this for a year straight now, probably more than a year straight. And the effect that it's had on my life completely is huge. I've met great people. I've got into shape. I've, I'm learning. I'm growing so much from it because I'm turning up every day. Now I'm getting consistent results in the gym. I'm putting on size in my physique. I'm putting on mental strength as well because I'm turning up, I'm creating more habits. I'm having a cold shower every morning. So again, I'm creating myself habits to do things that are uncomfortable and now it's not uncomfortable for me. And I watched a video earlier on my Instagram that I posted a while ago and I was saying how much I didn't like cold showers. Now I quite like cold showers because I forced myself to do it for so long. The same thing with mushrooms and avocados. I didn't like them when I first ate them. Now I eat them virtually every day because I forced myself to eat them. And again, I didn't eat, like, I just mixed them in with things so that it's sort of like, again, it's sort of like training like an amateur. I didn't just eat mushrooms just on their own. Whereas now I can just eat a mushroom on its own because I don't mind the taste, but still I wouldn't eat it cold. I'd have to eat it cooked. But when I first started, I ha absolutely hated mushrooms. They were the worst things ever. I mixed them in with the food. You couldn't taste them. Now they're just like that. They are just another thing that I put into my food regardless. So it's funny how when we start, we think we have to be the best, but it really isn't being the best. It's about starting. Now you don't need to be the best to start, but you need to start to be the best. And that's just a fact. And that is it's powerful. When you understand that, you will do what you need to do in order to get, get to where you want to be. So use the power of your subconscious mind. Use it in a way that you can control where you are, what you want to do, and things like that. So I'll give you one very, very simple subconscious reprogramming technique. Now, I say this all the time. We have two times in the day where we tap into a state of theta. Now, our brainwaves are constantly moving in and out of states. Not constantly. When you're awake, you're in beta. But when you wake up in the morning, you are going from delta, which is deep sleep, to then theta, which is hypnosis, to then alpha, to then beta. And then the complete opposite way around uh, when you're going to sleep. So you will go from beta to alpha to theta to delta, if you can get to delta. And the power of theta is very hypnotic. It's very susceptible, very suggestible. So if you can use the power of theta just before you are going to bed, just as you are waking up, you are whether it is telling yourself something, whether it is reading something positive, whether it's listening to a motivational video. Now I do this every single morning, every single evening. I will do this after this um, recording and as soon as I wake up in the morning as well, I will always do this. Because I understand the power of suggestibility. I understand the power of the subconscious mind. If you can reprogram your subconscious, you can completely change your life. So the more that you consciously aim to program the subconscious, the more likely you will program the subconscious. So ask yourself this question. What can I do? What do I want to achieve? Then start to program yourself for exactly what you want to achieve. Do you want to be a motivational speaker? Do you want to create a business? Do you want to start making videos? Whatever it is, you need to figure out exactly what it is. When you know what it is, then you can start to reprogram yourself and look at people who are who are the best in that field. If you model excellence, and this is everything what I learned with NLP, it's about modeling human excellence. Not about modeling someone who may be okay. You want to model the best of the best. If there is someone out there that is doing what you want to do right now, what are they doing in the morning? 
What do they do? What is their day-to-day -day schedule? How does yours compare to that? If it's not anywhere near that, there's no way you're going to get the same result. So if you want to model someone who is, so for example, for me, Tony Robbins is someone who I completely admire. When I listen to what he has done, it was study. What do I do? I study a lot. What else does he do? He works so hard and I work very hard as much as I can right now. Maybe in five years time, I will say I'm not working hard, but again, it's all a process. I build myself up. You don't just start as the best. You start as where you are right now. Then you start to improve. And that's all that matters is that you are improving. Make sure that you are aiming to improve yourself every single day. So I hope that this has given you something, something of benefit, something of power that you can use in order to reprogram your subconscious mind. Now I know for a fact that this works. This has changed, absolutely changed my life. So what I want you to do is just every morning, every evening, don't make it something that tomorrow or the next day is going to dramatically change your life. It's a process. Now, like I said before, if there's anything that you want help with, if you want to speed up this process, Let's do it. Speak to me. Let's speed it up because that's what it's about. I find speeding up the process, it's obviously a lot easier and it helps you out a lot quicker. But it can be done without speeding up the process. That is perfectly fine. And that I unfortunately, not unfortunately, I would say I learned, I needed to learn to do it the hard way to be able to figure out what works to help people to do it the quick way for them. And that was my journey. That's specific to me. Now that may not be the same for you. You may want to do it quicker. So if you do want to do it quicker, let me know, send me a message, send me an email, whatever it is, and let's do it. I would love to help you because like I say, I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. But I hope this gives you some value. I hope you've learned something and you can, impl you can start implementing it as of tonight, as of tomorrow, as of today. Start today, do not start tomorrow actually. Do not start tomorrow, do not wait. Just do it, get it done. But have an absolutely amazing day. Keep smiling, keep spreading love, keep spreading kindness and keep spreading positivity.